Um, so Anthony, in his keynote, for anyone caught the keynote this morning, he talked about a lot of different implementations of Python, and he talked very briefly about PyScript. Um, so it kind of got me thinking, well, how many people have actually used PyScript or seen it? Um, and so uh, I did do this uh, a few months ago, so I thought, oh, I'll show this. Um, so uh, the meetup that we run is runs on meetup.com, and meetup.com costs money. Uh, but the Python Foundation will actually uh, subsidize that and pay for it, which is great if you have a code of conduct, uh, which we didn't. Um, so in order to have a code of conduct, I needed to put it on a website. Uh, so I made a website using GitHub Pages. Um, so that website is here. So the, the thing about making that website is uh, uh, it's run in Jekyll, which is on Ruby, and I felt a little bit dirty about doing that. So I needed to kind of you know, feel better, so I, um, I wanted to write some Python. So this page actually has some Python in it. Uh, So see this bit down here, uh, where it says what the next date and the title of the next type I, which is uh, third Thursday. Um, there is a bug in this. It, it is telling the wrong countdown at the moment. Uh, I don't have my laptop. This is someone else's laptop, so I didn't fix it. So anyone wants to do a pull request uh, tonight? Um, so let's have a look at this code. Um, so let's make that a little bigger. Okay, so. The first thing you do with PyScript, um, you add a, uh, you can add the CSS. I'm not sure what the CSS adds, but mainly it's this JavaScript here. And what this is doing is loading um, the full interpreter uh, using WebAssembly. Um, that's, that may seem a little excessive. It's not great for speed. Like um, when you reload the page, it will take you know a few seconds. It will take longer if it's not cached, but it will take a few seconds if it is cached to actually load that up. Um, but on the other hand, there's been multiple attempts at Python in the browser before, like Brython and, and Sculpt and things like that, which do a decent job, but always they, uh, they have to, they're doing transpiling and they have to have alternate implementations for a whole bunch of C Python stuff, and they're never quite that compatible. Whereas what this is, is full C Python pretty much. Um, and what's more, you can bring in kind of any module you want to, and it will, and it will handle it for you. Um, so that's the first part. Uh, then you have this PyConfig here. Um, so you tell it which packages. So that's pretty much anything off uh, PyP. Um, so I'm bringing in beautiful soup. Uh, I did bring in request, but I didn't end up using it. Um, and I'm just telling it, it, it comes up with a splash screen by default. I said, don't worry about that. Um, so then I'm doing some imports. Um, so the, the first thing I'm doing here, so get next event, um, what I'm doing is actually scraping meetup. Meetup.com used to have an API. They don't have an API anymore. Uh, so I do a little bit of, um, I use this cause proxy because of cause issues. I go and get the page. I uh, find a bit of JavaScript on the page. I uh, load some JSON. Actually, no, it's a piece of JSON, and I found the bit that actually had the next event in and parsed it. Uh, this is an alternative implementation that if, that for whatever reason, that doesn't scrape that, it will just go default to every third Thursday, which is when the Python meetup is. Um, then that's the try and accept that handles that. And then I got a little loop that um, does the countdown. Um, and that's it. That's Python uh, running in the browser. Um, so it's kind of that simple. It, it is the case that, OK, with that startup time, you're not going to use it for things that, um, you know, you, but if you are, say, building a big app, you know, it's like where that startup time is not really an issue, you could um, definitely run a lot of different Python and bring in a lot of different things. Um, I don't know if, uh, how much time have I got. There was a couple of things I wanted to say. One is that. Um, Anyone who here lives in somewhere else in Thailand uh, that is not Bangkok? How many people here? Okay. Do you think there are Python people out there who would come to a meetup in your town? So here's the thing, right? Meetup gives us multiple accounts. We can have other meetups and stuff. It's free. Uh, 
And one thing about running a meetup is that uh, there are more people out there than you think. If you create something like this, people will come out of the woodwork. Every single meetup that we run, uh, we normally ask how many people are new, and it's like 25 to 30 percent. So there's a lot of people. If you create a meetup, they will come, and there will be more people than you'll be surprised. Have a couple of talks each time. Make it regular. It's easy. Um, so if you want to know more, come and see me. Okay.